this just illustrates kind of our need to tier prices across markets. The World Bank uh, develops formulas for in per capita income of people in, in various countries. And you know, our approach to access and pricing in markets has to differ depending on the market we're going to and you know, the income base. And even within countries, there can be great disparity. And we, may, and we tried to look at even at applying differential pricing or tier pricing even within countries. So India is a good example. You know, there is a portion of the population that uh, has private insurance and can afford uh, medicines. You have a growing middle income population in India uh, that is, you know, uh, that has a, you know, a different ability to pay. And then you have uh, 700 million people who live on less than $2 a day. And, you know, in those, in that population, you can't price a drug low enough for them to afford it. And you really have to find donations and other ways to really get the medicines in the hands of those patients. So we really look to tier the pricing across countries and then to some degree even in countries. And that's not an easy thing to do because of diversion and reference pricing and some of the things we talked about. But we are, we have been working with the Gates Foundation and with uh, two governments, one in the Philippines and one in Ghana to really try to test a pilot of within a country tiered pricing. Um, to allow us to tier the price according to the populations in certain disease areas. Um, it's a really interesting experiment. I don't know if it's going to work, but I, I think it will tell us a lot about our ability to use these tiered pricing mechanisms, which in our view is a much more sustainable way of getting to drugs in the hands of, of these different populations rather than having a model where you have one high price drug for the people who can afford it, and then you give everything away for free. When you give drug away for free in a market, you know, it then creates a disincentive to people wanting to actually pay for it. But also the governments don't want it. They want something that's more sustainable. They want a, a pricing structure that is more sustainable, not donations. 